Yeah, talk us through how companies are getting it wrong. You mentioned there what you can do. They start with television. You've already lost. So you make a TBC or a brand campaign and then you ask somebody, whether it's that agency or somebody else or internally, to cut it down for Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. You're already in trouble for a couple reasons. By nature, brand campaigns and television are vanilla because you're trying to reach everybody with the reach of that campaign. If you start from the bottom, you can go after expats from the UK versus expats from the US. As you can imagine, if you know that that's who you're gonna reach, your message is gonna be slightly different. I'm filming right now everywhere I go, me and DRock, like I'm standing outside with these beautiful views, we were here a little early, and I'm saying, hey Snapchat, find out why I'm here at the UAE. I'm literally filming for the distribution. Ready? Yep. Instagram, swipe up to find out what I'm doing at the UAE. Ready again? Instagram, swipe up to see what I'm doing here at the UAE. Cool. Just by saying what's up Facebook as my opening line disproportionately increases the shareability and earned media because I made the creative native to the distribution. I didn't make one video that's gonna be super glossy and then try to use everything. Everybody views these channels as distribution. I view them as contextual creative platforms. I'm not trying to get reach that isn't achieved because I didn't make content for it. Everybody's playing in a GRP and reach world without having a common sense layer over it of are you actually getting that reach and then number two, does your content speak to that reach? We didn't have that with television. <coughs> but now I can, I can attack the seven million people in this market in 31 cohorts that matter. Men and women are different. 18 year olds are different than 49 year olds. Making a million dollars a year is different than making $40,000 a year. We do not take that into account in creative because creative costs are too high. Machines for creative aren't built for scale. That is the rub in our industry. The media people know this. When I announced our framework that leads off of what I'm talking about in September, where I started my company meeting with, I'm gonna put us out of business before somebody else does, it was the media people that most liked this creative strategy. The creative people like to hold on to the political power of making a subjective call, not letting the market's reactions, quant and qual, dictate creative adjustment. So it's a very, very interesting time right now. We have way too many conversations in the ad world about the media side of things. We are not having the proper conversation of the subconscious bias against the wrong creative process for this world.